rates. Well, as that's going on, people all over the country, including us right here in New Mexico, are wondering how can we help out all the folks in Oklahoma who are suffering? Yeah, there are a lot of charities out there that you can donate to, but there are also a lot of scammers out there looking to rip you off. Our News 13's David Romero is live in the Newsplex with more on this. Good morning, David. Good morning, Elizabeth. Officials at the Attorney General's <laughs> office say it never fails. They see fraudulent groups trying to cash in on disasters like the one in Oklahoma. I try to donate to the charities that I know that are um, not scams and so on. American Red Cross is the number one charity that I always um, contribute to. And it's the number one piece of advice from the AG's office. If you decide to contribute, make sure it's to an established charity. Watch out for any solicitation to contribute to charities through emails or on websites. They may be fraudulent and or leave a virus on your computer. Now, some fake organizations also try to use similar names to well-known well -known charities. Make sure your money is going to the exact company you want to receive it. If a specific agency or uh, charity has popped up that you've never heard of before, then you need to do some um, investigation to make sure it is a legitimate agency. Now, you can call the National Center for Disaster Fraud to check up on any of these charities at 1-866-720-5721. That is available 24 hours a day. Elizabeth, back to you. Important information there, David. Thank you. Another tip is if you donate online, make sure it's a secure connection and you see an HTTPS in the search window. That way it is harder for hackers to try and steal your credit card number.